Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to talk about diets. So everyone who ever tried to lose weight or get to some sort of fitness goal, try diets. And that exactly is what I'm not promoting. So people are asking me, Greg, what diet you on? I'm not on any any diet at all. However, I don't eat everything that is out there. And there's a reason for that. So I would like you to understand what diet is and why I'm against diet and why I'm eating what I'm eating. And also, please, don't try to eat what I eat because you don't have my gene or DNA pool, you don't have my lifestyle, you don't have my style of exercise and if you just consume the food that I consume, you won't be me. As per my previous video that I posted yesterday, I recommend you compete with yourself, achieve your own goals and make sure that you're satisfied with your own results. Please do not compete with me, I'm here to inspire you um, from your personal body and mind understanding not from what I do and inspire you to do the same, definitely not. Mm -hmm. So let's start with a simple thing, why I don't like diets. I don't like diets because diets are restrictive, they're temporary and genuinely they suck. They suck big time because you're always kind of limiting yourself to what we call fun of life. So instead of doing that, I would say Find nutritious food that you like eating and stick with it. The first bit to understand what nutrition is. So put in simple terms, nutrition consists of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. None of those items or nutrition groups are good or bad. They are, all of them have place in your diet. However, you need to understand there are good carbs and bad carbs. There are good fats and there are bad fats. And there are proteins that you definitely don't want to consume. So let's start with carbohydrates. Um, you need to limit them. And limit them for one simple reason is if you eat wrong carbohydrate or carb carbohydrates in general, when they come in into your body, they get converted to glucose. That's the only way they work, right? People say eat more low GI carbohydrates and it will help you to absorb it slower. I would say no. Eat carbohydrates with most nutritious content as minerals, vitamins and fiber. That what carbohydrates I would eat. As a hint, for example, me, I'm consuming approximately between 10 to 50 grams of carbohydrates a day. And most of the carbohydrates come from cruciferous vegetables. All of us need more cruciferous, cruciferous vegetables in life because our food and our environments are very estrogenic. The phytoestrogens is really bad for women and equally bad for men. For men, they will compete with testosterone, with women, and are even worse there. I don't want to go into genetics, but just trust me, you don't want to consume um, carbs, much of them, and if you already do, make sure they're nutritious as a fiber and nutrients and vitamins. Second, less damaging uh, nutrition form is protein. And the reason why proteins could be damaging, first of all, uh, they source where they derive from and how they get in breaking down. So, for example, if you consume your proteins from a protein shake, I completely against it. Our body is not designed to take that concentration of protein and do something good with it. And half of the protein probably would be broken down into amino acids and then straight into glucose. And again, you will spike your insulin and it will go into storage. So if you're not doing strenuous exercise, and look, I'm a healthy, fit guy, and I tell you what, I'm not taking any protein supplements because you can get enough protein from your diet and enjoy it too. 
So I'm against uh, all the protein shakes. Also protein shakes, most of the people tend to go to local um, pharmacy and get water there or order online. Most of those proteins derive from dairy, which is inflammatory, or much worse. I like um, soy, soybeans. Uh, those things are very estrogenic. So um, stay away from um, exogenous proteins, consume good proteins with your diet, and make sure when you consume your proteins, you consume your proteins with a layer of fat on it. Because the way the body processes it together, it makes sure that protein synthesis will go slower. And those fats usually on the uh, quality cut of meat that you need for your nerve system. Speaking of fats, there are good fats and bad fats. Most of the fats would be, to simplify, uh, would be going to omega-3 or omega-6, right? They also have polysaturated, monosaturated, trans fats, and so on. So, we've been told all the time that saturated fat is bad. I would say, look, if you stop consuming saturated fat, your nerve system will just shut down. You do need saturated fat in your body. Where we go wrong with saturated fat is consuming saturated fat with carbohydrates would store saturated fat and not break it down. So again, if you're consuming food, make sure that you don't consume carbohydrates and fat and you don't consume uh, um, too much protein as a form of shake. With your fats, try to make sure that you stay away from all refined and man-made what we call vegetable oils. They're not vegetable, they are seed oils, right? Corn oil, canola oil, granola oil, uh, even sunflower oils. Those oils are real poison. All the margarines, stay away from them. Consume more butter, consume more ghee, avocado, macadamia oil, um, uh, olive oil, not in the form of any olive oil, extra virgin, coconut oil, um, all of those. And more you consume in, 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 a, in the original form is better. If you're buying fatty cuts of meat, make sure that they're all grass-fed because what animal eats, it will be passed on to you. So, what do I eat? I would say I'll try to stick to ketogenic diet. And yet, I'm not hardcore ketogenic diet because I don't want to preach that keto diet is the best for you. When you do ketogenic diet, you need to really look after yourself. You need to replenish your electrolytes, which basically kidneys excrete all the time, your salt, your potassium, your magnesium. And it's hard to do uh, without supplements. By the way, all the supplements I'm talking about today I'll put in the video description down below. So if you do decide to go ketogenic diet, you will help yourself to supplement to that level. So ketogenic diet is amazing. It's also amazing with the intermittent fasting, but it's a uh, theme for totally different video. Um, but it's really hard to do ketogenic diet. For example, um, some mornings I consume a number of seeds like uh, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, um, and another thing. It, it is more than 15 grams of carbohydrates in one sitting. Do I break my ketogenic diet? Yes, I do. Do I do my ketogenic diet straight? No, I don't. I also try to uh, get snippets of carnivore diet. That means I'm a main meat eater. But as you heard, my breakfast would be mostly seeds. So I'm not hardcore meat eater. However, just remember, We've always been told we need five cups of vegetables and two or three fruits. I don't remember what story is. That is not true. Most of the vegetables, vitamins and minerals are will be precursor and they're not converted easily. When most of the vitamins and minerals are in meat, everything but vitamin C from my memory, right? So you can get your vitamin C from um, capsicums or if you wish uh, lemons and limes and, and sauerkraut and so on. But remember, if you really would like to eat healthy, nutritious food, there's nothing more nutritious than grass-fed, grass-finished uh, meat. And the most nutritious would be organ meat. Heart, liver, kidney, tongue, and even if you can stomach brain, you need to cook it appropriately. 
So my point being is um, design your lifestyle choice as food that you eat towards what you do and make sure you cover all aspects of your nutrition so for example if you're cramping if your eye twitching if you cannot sleep properly or you feel hungry that means your nutrition is not in check it doesn't matter what you do in a gym how much you walk and how much you're exercising your weight your physical ability your body inflammation won't be good because your nutrition not in check you cannot outrun poor diet so this message for today is eat what you need to eat try to limit carbohydrates try to eat your proteins from a, a whole um, food try to make sure that your fats are, are healthy fats and do not restrict yourself of how much you eat i eat big portions i eat well and yet i don't put weight on because food that i eat is um, designed well it's aimed towards what i do and it's very nutritious and, and healthy and tasty as well so that's all for today thank you for watching if you got any questions about this video or if you got ideas for other videos you would like me to explain things help you out with something Please put comments down below. I'll see you next time. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.